Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina and today's pick a card is we're back to our monthlies. So we already did November, so this is going to be like the end of November, maybe the begin into the beginning of December, but we're going to focus it more at the end of November. Um, just because I don't want to do a full December read just yet. So anyway, that's what we're doing. So that's, you know, like a week or two, two weeks, two weeks from now. That's when like this energy is going to come in a week to two weeks. All right, before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. All right, we're picking what colors for this series because uh, I'm running out of things to pick with. And I don't like repeating too often. So um, here we go. We're picking what colors. So pile one is pink. Pile two is blue. And pile three is yellow. So take a moment. Pick the pile you are most drawn to. And we'll see, you know, what the energy is, you know, a week or two from now. Oh, and I also wanted to remind you that my readings are timeless. I do believe that when you stumble upon my readings, uh, they ha that happens for a reason and that there's a message for you. So even if it's not the end of November 2024 for you, you can still feel free to listen because I think there might be a message. Maybe the timing was off before for you and now it's ready for you. So just keep that in mind as well, too. All right, I want to get started with pile one all right pile one if you chose pink let's get some cards for you we have the death card three of pentacles the emperor justice hangman all right so there looks like there's something coming to an end for you. It could have something to do with um, somebody you're collaborating with. So I don't know if you're like with a uh, working on a project with somebody that might be wrapping up and coming to an end. Um, it could be, you know, a job. You're wrapping up your job and moving on to a, a better opportunity. Um, but there's something definitely that's ending. And I don't feel like it's like a tragedy or anything sad because you're the emperor. So it's ending because it's putting you in more of your own power. Like it's something that you're going to take charge of. So it, it might be wrapping up um, a particular, particular chapter in your life, but you're ready for it with the emperor. Um, justice is saying that, you know, this is the ending is going to be fair. It's going to be just or you're getting just rewards for this ending. The hangman tells me that the sacrifices that you're going to make by this ending is going to pay off for you in your next chapter. So it's coming to an end for a reason, whatever this is. Like I said, it could just be a project that you're working on that's coming to an end that's going to lead you to a next the next project, which might bring you in some money or something. I don't know. But the sacrifices of leaving this behind, letting this go, letting it end, whatever it is, is going to pay off for you in the future. So it's not a sad ending. It might be a little bit difficult. Like if you're like me, I, like I tend to hang on to things a little too long. So, um, you know, that's why I tend to have tower moments in my life because the universe is saying, we gave you signs to let go. You didn't let go. So now we're forcing it, forcing you to let go. Right. And that's when a tower moment happens. Um, so you might have a hard time letting go of this, I'm feeling. Um, but if you do, it's going to work out for you. Just know that something much better is in the immediate future here. So I don't know exactly what they're talking about. And, you know, three, the three of pentacles does make me feel like it's something you're working with, with on somebody, with somebody else, like working together, collaborating with somebody. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. All right. All right. So let's get a few more. 
we have your Eight of Swords and Five of Wands. So the Eight of Swords says that you're making this ending or this next chapter or whatever a little bit more scary than it needs to be. There's no reason to be afraid. Like it, it's, it's in your head, you know, like this ending's happening for a reason. Uh, what's coming in for you is meant for you. It's not as scary as you're making it out to be. Just let it go. Let it end. Um, but you feel like if you do, that there's going to be obstacles and challenges in your way. And there might be. Like maybe uh, starting a new job. Like say we're ending one job and starting a new one. That would be an obstacle. You would have to learn something new or, or learn how to work with different people or learn you know, new skills. There's obstacles. There's going to be obstacles. But it doesn't mean it's not for your highest good. So, yeah, you're protected. Look, all these cards are saying, like, you're going to be fine. This is happening for a reason. You're protected. Um, if you have to let it go, let it go. Everything will work out. Ascending the mountain. Keep going. Keep going. You're, you're meant to be forward. You're not meant to stay stuck where you're at. Right? We're climbing. We're climbing the mountain. There's a journey we need to go on. And we need to do this next phase of it. All right. So keep going. Don't be afraid. And like, don't hold, like, don't look back. You can look back as long as it's positive, but don't look back saying, maybe I need to go back to that. Keep going forward. Okay. Trust your higher self. Again, there's like, it's a sense of being protected, that everything's working out. Everything's going to be okay. Keep going forward. Pay attention to your higher self. You know what's happening is happening for your highest good. <laughs> All these cards are the same message. Like, we're not changing messages here. Push to the surface. You may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a surge, a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. So it's like, Again, they're pushing you forward because you've been, <laughs> you might have been procrastinating to make this change. They're pushing you to make a change because you're not meant to be in this energy anymore. You're meant to have something great happen for you. So it might be scary. Sorry. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that. The dogs always bark when somebody comes home. My daughter came home from a very important interview. So, uh. They were happy to see her, but I apologize for the distraction. So I believe we left off talking about, you know, uh, being scared uh, to let go, being scared to move on. Change sometimes is very scary. We get comfortable when we know what's going on. The unknown is always scary. So this is saying, don't be scared. We've got your back. We're pushing you forward for a reason. There's something better for you on the other side of this. So I definitely feel like you might ha be having a hard time letting go of something. But at the same time, I feel like if you do, it's going to be worth it. All right. Change. I love when a reading is so um, in sync, you know, and all these cards are just amazing. They all just go together. But anyway, you got to change. <laughs> a change of residence, partner, career, or job is in the cards. You're restless and in need of a change, and that is exactly what is coming your way. So I, this card makes me believe that you kind of know that you need to move on. You need to make this change. You need to let something end. Um, but again, we get comfortable and we don't want to do it all the time. So they're saying it's coming. me you've got the time has come the time to act is now <laughs> so it's like get ready get ready because we got to make some moves don't be afraid of it all right your last card is red which means forgive i wonder why or whom you have to forgive 
So, unless you feel like you're moving on hurts somebody else, you might have to forgive yourself because you're doing what's best for you. But as you can see, like it's not just you wanting to make a change. It's the universe saying, it's time for you to make a change. This is what we need you to do. They're pushing you forward. So forgive yourself if you feel like you're going to hurt somebody. Um, and forgive somebody else if they're the ones who are hurting you, forcing you to move on. Because knowing that after this reading, you know that this is meant for you. You know that this is, you need to, to, to take a step forward. So however the ending happens, it is happening for you, not to you. And you are protected through it all. All right, let me pull you a few charms. what we got here I actually really love this reading because it's like something great's coming in and it's meant for you you know it's truly meant for you when the universe is saying you know we're pushing you to the surface you're ascending the mountain you know and then you have like we've got you we've got you so you got love so love is coming in from somewhere it could be people who are supporting you or it could just be from the universe, but love is here. The synchronicity, no, synchronized numbers, 222, two, two, for me means you are in sync with what's going on. What's happening is happening for a reason. Pay attention to your intuition and the signs that uh, the universe is showing you. Now we did get the infinity symbol. So that means, uh, get for me, like, we are eternal, right? We are, our souls are eternal. We don't die. We exist. Um, so, again, like, you're experiencing something that you're meant to experience because it's something that maybe you haven't experienced yet. And we, as souls, are going to experience all the things at some point in our many lives that we choose to live we're going to experience different things so this is saying just go with it but the key to success is here so you're going to be happy you're going to do well you also have the good luck dragon so again good fortune is coming in we have the the panda which is black and white which reminds me of the justice card things are in balance, right? Things are equal. Things are meant for you. Trust your intuition with the elephant. You got the piggy, which the pig represents abundance for me. Bringing home the bacon, having, you know, having that money to spend. You also have the pumpkin. Again, they grow in abundance. So, um, you know, there's not just one pumpkin that grows on the vine. You always get more than one on, the, on a vine. They're, they're in abundance. you got abundance coming in. So again, what's happening to you is happening for a reason. It's happening for you, I should say. And um, it's exciting. It's very exciting. You've got the whale, which tells me that this is something great coming in. It's huge. It's a big improvement. So that's what I have for you, Pile One. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose blue, let's grab some cards. We've got the Hermit, the Fool, the Five of Wands, the High Priestess, Nine of Wands. All right. So what's happening here? All right. So you have a new adventure coming in. And I feel like this new adventure brings 
some snags with it, some obstacles, because you're conflicted about it and you're searching for answers. But they're saying you need to trust your intuition. You're the fighter. You're the wounded warrior. You don't give up. You try new things. You try different ways. You keep going. You persevere and you push for, through. And that's what you're going to do with this. So don't say no to this new adventure coming in, this new opportunity, whatever it is, no matter what obstacles it brings with you, you're going to be able to conquer them. You're going to be able to figure things out. You've got this. I feel like this new adventure is something that you really want, but because of the obstacles that go along with it, it's what's holding you back or making you think, oh, is this for me? I want you to know that I truly believe that, the, uh, that this new opportunity is meant for you and that you'll figure out how to overcome the obstacles, the challenges. All right, so, um, and I think, I think you know it too. I think you know it too. I think, you know, you being the nine of wands energy here, being that wounded warrior, somebody who's been beat up a little bit, maybe things haven't gone your way all the time, but you keep going because there's something that you really, really want. There's, there's a dream, there's a goal. So I think you know that even though there's going to be some challenges, you'll find a way. You'll find a way. I believe in you. So let's get some more cards and see if we can determine what this is about. To a sword, you're up in your head. We know that. And eight of cups. All right. So eight of cups is in my the way that I interpret Eight of Cups is walking away from something that might be hard to walk away from, but we're choosing to do it anyway because we know it's for our highest good. So it's about leaving something behind or pulling back our energy from something. So I really do believe that you are going to choose to go on this new adventure and Going on a new adventure means that you're leaving something else behind, right? So I think you're conflicted about it. I still think that there's some challenges that you're going to have to face, but I think you're going to do it. It might not be easy, but you're going to be able to handle it. Everything in perfect balance. Okay, so they're saying like everything happens for a reason and you know where there's a yin there's a yang you know where there's light there's dark as above so below there's balance to everything in this world right so this is saying that the challenges for every challenge that there is with this new adventure there's going to be the other side a blessing right a reward abundance so there's going to be balance in this so it's not going to be all challenge it there's going to be great reward as well so just keep that in mind answering the call the time is now so they're saying don't put this off don't procrastinate when the opportunity comes in for you to take this new adventure this leap of faith that you need to answer that call open that door when the opportunity knocks, open the door for it. Don't be afraid. Kindred partnership. So for me, that's a soulmate. So I really do believe that you're going to have a soulmate by your side. Um, whether that's a best friend in the form of a best friend, a coworker, a, a lover. It could be anybody. But I think that you are going to find a kindred partnership in this new adventure which again is a beautiful blessing coming in 
resilience. There is no need to rush or push. This is a time to take things as they come. You have the determination and the patience to handle what is happening. Okay, so this is saying you don't have to push this through. You don't have to rush things. But when the opportunity knocks, you're going to open the door. Take it as it comes, right? Don't beg somebody to come to the door knocking. Let's just wait for them to get here. But be patient, all right? And again, it says that you have the determination and the patience to handle what is happening. So the challenge is you'll be able to handle it. Tough and trying times ahead. Long term and make think long term and make decisions accordingly. So this is saying that there might be a challenge in the beginning, but long term, this is really meant for you. This is really what's going to work out for you. This is really going to bring blessings into your life. All right. So you might have a challenge in the beginning, but it'll work itself out. Butterflies in gloom after sadness, happiness and hope return. So again, the balance. When there's a challenge, there's going to be a reward. So after sadness, happiness is coming in for you. So face the challenges head on. Don't be afraid of them because they're saying you've got what it takes to handle it. It's meant for you because there's blessings on the other side. Storm, every hurricane comes to an end. There you go. It won't last forever. The challenges, the storm, whatever it is, won't last forever. You've got this. You've got this and I believe in you and this new opportunity is going to be amazing. It might be hard in the beginning, but it's going to be amazing. It's exciting. We pull you some charms. All right, let's see here. Let's move these over just a little bit. You've got looking good. Okay, so you're going to be looking good. The zebra is coming in to help you through the transition. The zebra spirit makes change a little bit more smoother, a little bit more easier because change is hard. So they come in to ease it a little bit for you. You've got the light bulb. So your path is illuminated. You know, you know what path you need to take. You know, you need to take this leap of faith. Just trust your intuition and follow it. All right, you do have a little heart here, so there is some kind of soulmate love coming in for you, right? Hopefully, it's romantic if you're single, uh, but if not, it could be a best friend, a, a, a you know, a, a new coworker that just gets you, a mentor, even a, like a if you're going to school, like a professor, a professor that you build a rapport with. Just um, a soulmate energy here, which is amazing nice got the hedgehog don't be afraid you've got this don't be afraid you're going to be learning something here that's teaching you something this experience is either teaching you something about yourself or you're literally learning something new here which is going to help you in the long run it's going to help you shine it's going to allow you to be the star that you are shine on be that rock star all right, here's your tiger. Get that eye of the tiger. Channel that nine of wands energy. You've got this, the wounded warrior. But you're a warrior, and you don't give up. And you keep fighting for what you want. You keep fighting for what you believe in. You've got this. You are going in the right direction. All right. All right. Pile two. That is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. 
All right, pile three. If you chose yellow, let's get some cards. King of Swords, Page of Swords, Page of Cups, Tower, Ten of Cups. Hang on, let me. No, oh, maybe he's done. All right, I think he's done. I don't know what he was barking at. All right. Hmm. All right, so we do have we do have a challenge here, but after this challenge, it you you're getting a lot of happiness that comes in. Um, gosh, all three piles are kind of the kind of the same theme. Theme. They're a little different, but interesting. Must be the energy of the you know collective here. Anyway, okay. King of Swords is being in your power, having truth, having honesty, making fair and just decisions, like kind of like having that mental clarity, knowing what you need to do. Page of Swords is about learning, discovering new things, not being afraid to, to take on something new. The Page of Cups is about a pleasant surprise or, or uh, an apology. We have the tower, which is something that's going to shake up your life. But then you have Ten of Cups, which is happily ever after. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on. But you're definitely getting clarity about something. And something is going to be... Uh, disrupting your life in some way it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing especially with that ten of cups or if it is a negative thing like uh, something that you don't want to happen um, just remember it's happening for your highest good and happiness follows it so uh, let's let's see I, I'm gonna be honest with you I'm gonna tell you what I'm, I'm, I'm getting and it might not be everybody's story but I'm getting that there might be somebody that you're pursuing romantically that you realize it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. And that kind of uh, brings about a sudden change, you know, where you're just, uh, I got to move on. But after you move on, you're going to find happiness. Now, again, that doesn't have to be everybody's story. But there's something here. There's something here that you're getting clarity on. And the clarity is going to kind of shift what goes on in your life or how you do things. Or it's a, it's a change. It's a change. I mean, it could, whatever you're getting clarity on could be like you are going to now move. You're going to move. You're going to make a move. That, that would be, you know, changing your life, right? I don't know. Let's get some more cards. We got the hangman and five of pentacles. So yeah, this is something that's not going to feel the greatest. Um, this is going to, uh, um, you're going to, I don't know if you're going to be in stuck energy. You're definitely going to feel alone you're in this world, you're definitely going to feel like left out, left behind. And that could be from the tower moment. Resilient, burn away the past. Okay. I think that's what you're going to do, to be honest with you. I think there's something that you're realizing that's that's happening for you, that you're you're like I can't live in the past anymore. This is this isn't working. Like the um, like it wasn't good enough. 
Like whatever was going on in your life is not good enough. You, you feel left behind somehow. Whether that's like in your job where you're not making the money your friends are making because you're stuck in the, you know, in this job that you can't get ahead. It's, I, it feels like either a relationship or a situation in your life is just not good enough anymore. You know it. You, you've been stuck in it for a while. You don't want to move on. You want your situation to improve. But I think you're getting the clarity that it's not going to improve. You have to make a change. And then you'll find your happiness. So I really do feel like there's it's time for a change. Opening to your spiritual source. So again, trust that God's got your back. That, you know, this is happening because you might be somebody who's comfortable in your situations and that and it's getting really uncomfortable for a reason. Right? So trust, trust your signs, your guides, your intuition, that inner knowing, knowing that I've got to make a change. Because I do think that that clarity is going to be there for you. Um, you know, and just believe that that the universe will have your back. Because you have new supportive connections coming in. So again, here's here's your happiness, right? After feeling yucky, you're going to have happiness here. It's coming in. You're going to be making new connections, new friends maybe. Shared inspiration. Throw yourself into a new project. Be willing to let go of time constraints and rules and be ready to be aware of whatever fulfills your heart. So throw yourself into a new project, right? A change, something new. Something that's going to make your heart sing. Maybe you have to move on from a relationship and, and move on to a new one. You've got to do what makes your heart happy. You can't stay stuck in the hangman mode forever. That will just make you miserable. I mean, look at it. It is making you miserable. You're feeling left out. You're feeling um, left behind. That people are moving on without you or they're growing without you. Stop being stuck. Positive work outcomes. Consistent effort will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making okay but uh that, so if you need to buy a car this is saying it's okay to buy a car um no consistent effort will bring rewards so i i just feel like the key word is to make the effort to make the effort to make the change to do something different because you can't keep doing what you've been doing you're stuck and you're not feeling good about it. Wisdom as light as a feather. So, yeah, again, I think that's the clarity that's coming in. That knowing what to do. Thorns. Weave together the crown you deserve. So, it's saying, like, you deserve to be happy. Your heart deserves to be fulfilled. So, even though uh, it might be painful with the thorns, right? It might be painful to move on. It's time to burn away the past. It's time to move on. Something beautiful will come out of it. You've got, you've got a lot of happiness here, saying you can have the happiness that you deserve. You just have to make a sacrifice. Sacrifice your comfortability. All right, let me pull you some charms. Oh, my Kambaba Jasper was in my charm bag. I'm going to put that down there so I put it away. Uh, smitten. So maybe you find new love. Maybe this new connection is a new love for you. Once you make a change. 
it will be, end up being a wish come true for you, whether you see that now or not. Your angels are saying, you've got this. We're guiding you. Find your courage and be brave. Right? Christmas time. Right? You might have to make the move around Christmas time. This is the energy the end of November, right? So that makes sense. You have the key to success. You have the lotus flower, which for me is like a peaceful energy. So I think that you will find peace with your decision. But it's definitely time to, you know, cut off the limb that, that doesn't, you know, that ain't working anymore. It'll grow back, but different and stronger in a new way. All right. You've got this. Burn away the past. Let it go. Move on. All right, that is what I have for you, Pile 3. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.